Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm so excited to be sharing this with you today. We're going to be doing an energy work routine and the one I'll be sharing today is the standard EFT tapping sequence. Now I know that some of you might already know how to do EFT, but in this video we will add to it. We'll talk about why this works and how to make it more effective. And also know that you can do this for anything that feels uncomfortable physically, emotionally, or mentally. This is to help you release repressed energy and that can manifest in a number of ways. So whatever that's keeping you up at night, whatever that you're feeling right now, <laughs> because I assume you're probably watching this because you're trying to go to sleep. I know a lot of you come to my videos for that. So whatever's keeping you up right now is what we're going to work on today. This is going to be personalized and a very interactive experience. When you're ready, let's just get right into it. Now let's take some deep breaths and I want you to become aware of what you are feeling right now. Take a deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Notice what's happening in you right now and identify the issue. This is the first step. Identify the issue but tap into the actual feeling, the sensations and what I mean by this is rather than saying I have anxiety which is a mind level idea, concept. What does your anxiety feel like in your body? Because we all feel anxiety differently. Just saying you have anxiety isn't enough. That doesn't give us body awareness. Notice what you're feeling right now in your body. feel tension in my chest. That's sort of my sign of anxiety, emotional discomfort. What is it for you? All right. Now when you have the sensation, you have identified the issue. This is what we're going to be working on today. The sensation tells us the way the energy is manifesting. So we've isolated the energy. Now we're going to work to release this energy. From a scale of 1 to 10, how intense do you feel this? 10 being very intense, 1 or 0 being nothing. Alright, so we have something to work with. We have this number and our goal is to get it down to 1 or 0. So number 1, we've identified the issue from a bodily perspective. Very important. It has to be from the body, not from the mind. 
Number two, we scaled the emotion. So from a scale of one to ten, you know how intense you feel it. You know what you're working with. Now number three, let's use the karate chop point and acknowledge what you're feeling. So I like to use these four fingers to tap at this point. And you want to go a little bit hard so you can feel a bit of soreness that lets you know that you've actually tapped the point and now repeat after me even though I feel name the sensation I deeply and completely accept myself There you go. You've acknowledged and accepted the issue. And let me tell you, this is the biggest step towards healing. Acknowledging what is happening right now is, is huge. Because so many of us use avoidance strategies and distractions to ignore the problem and a part of us thinks doing that gets rid of it but you obviously know it doesn't it only prolongs it and when you choose to look dead on at exactly what you are working with you you expand your awareness and this expanded awareness will allow you to hold space for the healing to come so just know that you've taken such a huge step already in your healing and feeling better and now we will work through the sequence so let's start from the very top, top of the head, and again I'm using four fingers and just thumping around the top of my head. There are a couple points here, so you just want to tap around, and most of these help you calm your mind, de-stress, and just overall gain mental clarity. So it's nice to tap around and then you're going to move down to the inner eyebrows I use two fingers and I tap a little bit on this side and then a little bit on the other side okay and now you'll tap the temple points over here again make sure you go a little hard just enough to feel the point so you should feel a bit of soreness okay now move to below the eye under eye this point is really grounding can even do this on its own whenever you want to ground yourself okay now we go to the upper lip now the chin I find that I have to go a little bit harder on this one a little bit more Move down to the collarbone so you see your collarbone. And I want you to find this point over here, sort of like the corner, and tap there. This point is energizing, sort of strengthening. And again, you can do this a 
at any time during the day if you only had, you know, five seconds to spare to have these points to feel a little bit, a little bit more energized and now here's, well, this is one that I added it's not within the EFT sequence but I love because it helps you activate your thymus gland strengthens your immune system and also helps neutralize negative emotions now for the underarm point the sort of if you're a woman where your bra would be you want to tap over here and tap around until you feel sore for most people you will feel sore here you can do both sides or just one And if you do feel sore here, that means you need to, your body needs to metabolize toxins. And so it would be helpful for you to tap this point more often. Another great one that's not in the EFT sequence, but I like to do is under the, under the bra, sort of the bottom of right above the bottom of your rib cage. Okay, so these are the points that we're going to be working with and now we're going to add on with phrases and affirmations. We're going to first keep it simple for the first round. We'll go through the sequence and just state the sensation, the sensation that you identified earlier. Just state that. So, because I'm going to be guiding you as an example, I'm going to say tension in my chest. And you can say whatever you're feeling. Okay. Alright, let's start. So, beginning with the top of the head now. Say, this tension in my chest. This tension in my chest. tension in my chest. This tension in my chest. This tension in my chest. This tension in my chest. So we did one round of that, and all we did was state the sensation, the discomfort that you've been feeling. And you see, when we do that, we expand your awareness, we allow the space for you to be with exactly what you're feeling. We're isolating it, we're working with it, and in just doing that, without wanting to run away or make it better, you're already helping the energy move. Isn't that amazing? So you can just be with whatever discomfort you're feeling and it will actually start to feel better. So scale from 0 to 10 again. What is it that you're feeling now? Is it a little bit less than earlier? I'm guessing it's not at zero yet, so we're going to do another round now. And now we're going to add to the phrase and make it more affirmative. So we'll say what we said earlier. Even though I feel, I deeply and completely accept myself. So we begin at the top again. 
even though I feel this tension in my chest, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this tension in my chest, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this tension in my chest, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even, oh, even though I feel this tension in my chest, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this tension in my chest, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this tension in my chest, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this tension in my chest, I deeply and completely accept myself. Last point. Even though I feel this tension in my chest, I deeply and completely accept myself. So we just finished another round. And can you sense that that was more affirmative? It's more heart-centered? You were present and you were okay with it, right? Now from a scale of 0 to 10, how do you feel? Most definitely it's a little bit lower than earlier and the time before that But if you're not at a 0 yet, we can go another round Or plenty more rounds if you like Let's do another round now this time we'll make it even more affirmative. So you see, we started with the negative feeling and we chose to be okay with it. We just acknowledged it. Then we added a bit of compassion to that. Sort of slid, we were sliding up the scale of emotions from negative to a bit neutral. Now we're going to slide up a little bit more towards positive. So we're going to accept and add some positive affirmations. Now I'm going to say whatever comes to mind and I would encourage you to do the same. Say what feels right in the moment because that's what's going to click for you. That's what's going to actually make you feel better. For the sake of this video, you're welcome to follow me to get started. And, you know, when you do this on your own, just let your mind go crazy and say positive things that come to you, no matter what they are. Now, beginning at the top again. Even though I feel this tension in my chest, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this tension in my chest, it's actually beginning to lessen by a lot. I didn't think I would feel better so soon. I'm proud of myself for taking the time out of my day to do this. I'm proud of myself for choosing to acknowledge my feelings rather than looking away. I think I'm enjoying this moment, this time with myself. I'm starting to feel better and I'm proud of that too. I'm proud of my body. Thank you, body, for being so resilient and smart. 
Alright, that was the third round. Now scale your emotions 0 to 10. Chances are Chances are, if you're not at a zero yet, you're probably very close. And just for fun, I want us to do one more round. The affirmations were sort of neutral. Now we can make it even more positive if you feel up to it. Just one thing about affirmations. You want to make sure that you say things that actually carry an emotional charge for you. What I mean is, you want what you're saying to feel believable to you and your subconscious. If you say, I am love, and you don't actually believe it, you don't actually feel that, then that's a waste of time, okay? If you say, I'm rich, and you don't actually feel rich, then that's a waste of time. But you can say, I'm trying to be more loving with myself, right? There's more resonance with that. I'm not always loving to myself, but I'm learning to have more self-compassion. That makes more sense, doesn't it? So fourth round, start at the top again. Even though I feel tension in my chest, I deeply and completely accept myself. I'm starting to feel much better than how I felt when I began. I can't believe this worked. I feel really empowered now. I feel so proud of myself, proud of my mind, my body, and my resilience. I'm starting to feel at peace. I'm feeling calm, feeling more stable. I think I'm going to have a really great sleep tonight. I feel lighter in my body. I feel less agitated. I didn't think I would feel that way so soon. I can't wait to do more of this in the future to continue my healing. (laughs) So there you go. We just did four rounds of this tapping sequence. By now, you're probably feeling much better than you began. And by feeling better, what I mean is you probably feel more calm, more stable, more aware and present of your body. probably feeling more connected to your emotions and this is such a great space to be in because what we're trying to achieve with healing isn't to be extremely happy we're trying to achieve a state of contentment where you can be okay with yourself regardless of what happens And this method teaches you to do that. It teaches you to be with yourself rather than running away. And this can, and this trains you to expand your self-awareness and to integrate your shadow. I love to talk about the shadow in a later video. This is a great way to get started at the beginning, to just learn to acknowledge what you're going through 
and not run away. Okay. Now that we've done the sequence, something you can do afterwards is to just give yourself a hug. Like this, this, whichever way feels right, or just have your hands over your heart. Take some deep breaths. In my comfort and compassion into your space, breathe in. And exhale. Breathe in. And exhale. And exhale. Deep breath in. And out. You're probably noticing it's so much easier for you to focus having done that sequence. Your breathing is probably a lot more relaxed, slow, and deep compared to earlier. It's all a sign of free-flowing energy. These are all signs of free-flowing energy. These are all signs that your life energy is flowing freely now. And you're tapped in to your parasympathetic nervous system and you're in a relaxation response. That's a great space to be in as you fall asleep. So just continue to take deep, deep breaths. And And out. And continue to be with yourself in this way. Continue to breathe deeply, slowly, in a relaxed manner. As you drift into sleep. Be with this awareness as it takes you deeper and deeper into yourself. 
until all that there's left to do is to just fall into Thank you so much for trying this out with me. I hope that this routine was helpful. Please let me know how you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you in the next video.